All right, guys, you've got a 2006 American Iron Horse Texas Chopper soft tail motorcycle for sale. This bike currently has extremely low 6,580 very well cared for miles. Now this particular bike is equipped with the gloss black face paint job. And you've got the custom covered brown seat definitely gives a lot of contrast with the polished dull aluminum and the chrome on the motor. Definitely a very, very attractive paint job. Now in 2006, American Iron Horse equipped these bikes with the extremely powerful 1,820cc, 111 cubic inch SNS V-twin motor. They also equipped the motorcycle with a six-speed transmission. You've got a right side balance drive. Definitely a very, very well engineered and well balanced chopper motorcycle. Now up front, you do have a 21 inch rim. In the rear, you've got an 18 inch rim with a gigantic 280 millimeter tire definitely gives the bike that classic chopper look now this bike does have some uh, additions first off you've got that rear uh, sissy bar assembly and what that will allow you to do is to uh, facilitate a passenger as a backrest. Um, you can also uh, put a gear bag on there so it's not riding on the fender. Uh, definitely a nice addition to have. <laughs> You've also got the uh, custom covered seat in the brown material. I'm not exactly uh, what material it is, uh, but definitely gives the bike some uh, some substance and some contrast so definitely a nice thing to have you've got the custom rear passenger pegs um, again you can add a, a passenger pillion pad or a two-up seat and that will uh, allow you to facilitate that passenger you've got custom drag pipes uh, I'm not exactly sure on the brand on these um, but they definitely give the bike a great look aesthetically and uh, sound sound even better you also have uh, an underglow lighting system uh, throughout the bike and so at night you can turn that on and um, we'll give you various colors uh, on the undercarriage uh, shines off the chrome and the polished bullet definitely a, a fun option to have you've also got the custom uh, Ford foot, foot controls and uh, the pegs, you've got a little bit of a, a foot pad here. So it gives you a little bit more support for your feet, which is nice. You've got the uh, custom uh, hand grips that are gold. Um, don't know if you like them or not, but that would be an easy thing to switch out if you didn't love them. You've got the custom tribal mirrors. So it definitely has some tasteful additions. Now the bike is a uh, 2006 model, and so um, it is uh, aging, um, but it does have extremely low miles at 6,500 6, miles. Um, the bike is very clean. I just had it professionally detailed. Um, my detailer uh, does a very, very extensive uh, detail as far as cut and, cutting and buffing the uh, polished billet and polishing it properly, uh, the chrome, the paint, you name it probably spends a good 20 hours on the motorcycle and um, he's done a great job so that that's definitely a nice thing to have um, it's gonna make the motorcycle look as new as close to new as possible for being a 2006 model so I'm gonna go ahead and rate the motorcycle at a 9.25 out of a 10 so an A minus uh, grade and, and the reason because of that is there are a few uh, cosmetic blemishes 
nothing crazy and nothing you want to expect on a uh, motorcycle this age um, but again I just want to make sure you know exactly what you're getting So you've got that rear Metzeler tire. Um, you do have some decent tread on there. I'd say you're approximately 75% of tread remaining. Um, but you do have a little bit of weather checking. And so I just want you to be fully aware of that. Um, you should be able to get some decent life out of these tire, or the rear tire, I should say, um, just because I have replaced the front tire recently. Rear fender is in decent shape. You're gonna have a few uh, minor surface scratches on that rear fender. You're probably going to see some of the dust on here. Uh, black is just very, very uh, common to to show the dust. So I'm going to wipe that off with the microfiber. Um, but not any major notice, uh, noticeable dings, dents. Uh, that rear fender is in decent shape. That rear sissy bar, the chrome is in fair shape. Um, you're gonna have a few minor light surf scratches Nothing crazy, but again, just want to make sure you know exactly what you're getting Polished billet on that rear wheel is in great shape again just had the motorcycle uh, completely detailed and uh, My detailer went all of the polished billet um, With a fine tooth comb just to make sure that is looking as good as it possibly can that uh, American Iron Horse solo seat that's been recovered uh, either in like a snake skin or a, an ostrich or, or like an alligator I don't I don't know if this is authentic material um, but definitely gives the bike a different look again if you didn't love it that would probably be pretty easy to uh, have recovered uh, with whatever material that you'd like rear swing arm you've got a little bit of a nick right there say you're approximately one eighth inch in diameter um, I was gonna go over the bike with some touch-up paint but I decided not to just to, to know let you know exactly what you're getting because you do have a few areas that that do need to be touched up you've got some rock chips right here on the edge of that oil tank there's one two three there's three right there and a few other uh, surface scratches Pipes are in fair shape. You do have a little bit of uh, discoloration. Um, it just happens with heat going through the metal. Um, it's just it's just bound to happen. Nothing crazy, um, but I don't believe there's heat shields on here, and so you're you're going to get a little bit of discoloration in there. It's not turning blue or anything of that sort. Um, you're going to have some light uh, scuffing just from uh, boots rubbing up against that. undercarriage um, you're gonna have some scraping and um, again I was gonna touch some of this up but I just wanted to make sure you're very aware of what's on the motorcycle um, it has scraped these bikes sit so low to the ground that it's dang near impossible to prevent them from happening um, so I will before this goes out I will touch up all the paint so it's black but again just want to make sure you know exactly what you're getting there Love the look of the uh, American Iron Horse Texas Chopper tank. That gas tank is very, very long and stretched and is very unique to the American Iron Horse brand. Uh, probably one of my favorite aspects of the brand. Uh, the tank is in fair shape. You're going to have some minor uh, light surf scratches throughout it. Nothing crazy and no major noticeable like rock chips on on top you've got a little bit of uh, scuffing there scuffing there as well Let's see if we can get that to focus so i'm assuming whoever's on the, the motorcycle before was tall and uh that may have been from his uh, 
lakes coming up uh, while riding the motorcycle. Nothing crazy, but again, I just want to make sure you know exactly what you're getting. Rocker box covers on the motor are in great shape. Uh, no major blemishes that I can point out. The air intake cover you've got, I'd say about eight, eight to ten very, very little tiny chrome pits. Um, I'm assuming this bike was close to the coast at one point to, to get that kind of uh, pitting. I can't see any other pitting throughout the bike and uh, this is a great place to have it if you wanted to replace an air cleaner it would be rather easy to do that. But again just want to make sure you know exactly what you're getting. The uh, engine jugs uh, in great shape, the fins um, you've got a little bit of oxidation and they're not bad. Um, I had John, my detailer, go over the very, very best he could. Again, just want to make sure uh, you know exactly what you're getting, but I wanted John to go over it the best he could. And, and the bike does look great. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm told that I over-describe my motorcycles quite a bit, um, but I want my clientele happy and, and to know exactly what they're getting. Um, you've got this front forward foot control. These are aftermarket pegs. And this is supposed to, to serve as kind of like a, uh, a foot pad. Um, whoever installed uh, the pipes and this, they had to bend this to uh, get it to facilitate the motorcycle. Uh, otherwise, uh, the peg would interfere. So that has been bent over. Again, that could be taken off if, if that's something that you don't like or desire. A uh, good thing about uh, American Iron Horse, you've got the Harley Davidson style. Uh, hand switches um, very reliable um, you're not gonna get uh, any major issues if you have moisture get in there um, I wouldn't suggest riding the bike in, in water but if you get caught in a, a rainstorm it's not gonna be the end of the world you've got those custom gold grips um, I like the look but everyone's different so again if that's something that drove you nuts those could be taken off and swapped out really, really easily You've got the custom tribal mirrors. Handlebars are in great shape. No major blemishes to point out there. It's like you've got a little bit of scuffing there um, just from the uh, cables. You've got one uh, rock chip right there. Front fr uh, frame down tubes, you're going to have uh, a little bit of blemishing just from catching all the rocks. Um, you're going to have some more rock chips over here. Now this is where I didn't want to touch up the paint so you know exactly what you're getting. Um, but whoever's on the motorcycle has ridden the, the motorcycle on a, a road that had some gravel and you do have some blemishing there. Just want to make sure you're aware of that. See if we can get up underneath so you can see the scrapes. Front of the handlebars are in great shape. Uh, no blemishing, no uh, pitting, anything of that sort. They're in, in really good shape. You've got the custom uh, covers here on the triple trees, the iron horse blunt, uh, emblem. Headlight is in decent shape, no major blemishing to point out. You might have a few very, very minor uh, surface scratches just from the age of the motorcycle. Uh, another thing I want to note is the turn signal uh, housings have been eliminated or shaved um, just to uh, improve the look of the motorcycle, to clean up the look of the motorcycle. Um, I'm sure those could be added if you needed them, um, but just want to make sure you're aware uh, that those have been uh, taken off. The front down tubes uh, on the motorcycle are in great shape, the triple trees. You've got the shock absorbers there polished billet on the shock is over is in great shape no major blemishing front fenders in fair shape you do have some scuff marks um, right there you've got a little bit of scuffing there as well um, you might have a couple rock chips right down there uh, it's a very susceptible area uh, to get those chips 
but overall no you know major major blemishes to point out really is a gorgeous motorcycle looks like you might have a little bit of that paint coming off right there Yeah, dual front disc brakes up front that's uh, I believe is unique to American Iron Horse on the Texas choppers um, it's just giving you more uh, stopping power and so you have dual disc brakes up front and then you've got a, a disc brake in the rear and so you're gonna have three uh, different braking systems which is really really nice to have um, these motorcycles are a little bit heavier and so that will give you some more uh, stopping power polished billet on that front wheel um, in in decent shape it is a used motorcycle, so you can't expect it to be perfect, but with that uh, recent uh, full detail and the cut and, cut and buff of the polished billet, looks really nice. No major blemishes for me to point out. Disc brake uh, on both sides, are, or the rotors are in uh, good shape. No major blemishing for me to point out. Front tire is a brand new uh, Shinko tire. Um, I just had that installed a few months back. Uh, if you haven't done your research on Shinko, they actually have really, really great reviews and I have installed them on quite a few motorcycles um, and have so far been really happy with uh, the performance. Um, again, I don't own the motorcycles, so I don't know how long they last, um, but they are quite a bit cheaper than, say, the Metzeller, Avons, uh, any of the mainstream brands, and so I'd say they're almost half the price. So I'd rather get a tire that's cheaper and be replacing it more often, but everyone's different. Um, should definitely give you some decent life. Uh, polished built wheel on the front on the sides, very, very similar to the uh, right side. No major blemishing to point out. Yeah, left down tubes, uh, very similar to the, the right side, no major blemishes. Hand controls on the side, all in great shape. No major blemishes to point out. No pitting chrome. Trying to get the very least amount of glare. Gas tank on this side. No major blemishes that I can point out. Uh, with the exception of some light surface scratching. Um, just from, say, like dusting the bike off throughout the course of its life. Uh, it's just bound to happen, especially with a, a gloss black uh, paint job. You've also got that custom uh, gas cap lid. If you spin it, um, it's going to uh, pop out so you can take that off. If you spin it to the right, it makes it flush with the tank. Definitely a cool feature and, and cleans up the lines on the motorcycle so you don't have any uh, protruding chrome. Down tubes on the left side, very similar to the right. You're gonna have some uh, rock chipping, um, nothing crazy. And again, I think some touch-up paint really is going to help that and you won't notice it nearly as much. But again, I just wanted to make sure you know exactly what you're getting. The uh, rocker box covers and ignition cover over here are in really great shape, no major blemishes to point out. You've got the custom uh, gold accents here to kind of tie in the, the gold hand grips. Again, if you didn't like these, these can be taken off really, really easily. Ah, another thing I forgot to mention is this has got a uh, an aftermarket primary open drive. I believe it is a three inch, but I'd have to measure it. These are very, very expensive. Um, if you've ever researched them or installed them on your motorcycle, uh, the parts just for the parts are right around three grand um, I know some of them go you know north of that and so it just depends on the brand um, but definitely a very high-end open primary drive which you know with installation I bet you're at least three to three to forty five hundred dollars three thousand to forty five hundred dollars so definitely a nice addition to have one thing to note this kickstand uh, will not go up all the way because the primary drive sticks out further than the uh, factory primary drive so just want you to be aware of that you can see how this side is not bent it's actually nice to have that foot pad 
uh, definitely gives your feet a little bit more uh, support. That custom tribal mirror. Custom covered seat. The uh, rear pasture pegs in, uh, in good shape. Looks like they haven't been used a whole lot. And so the rubber is still in really, really nice shape. Um, that's pretty much the story with all the, uh, the foot pegs and the forward foot controls. So definitely a nice thing to have. This oil tank back here, you've got some chipping paint on the edge of that tank. And so again, some touch-up paint would really help. Uh, if you wanted it perfect, you could have it resprayed. Um, if it was me, I'd probably just do touch-up paint. Um, you're, you're gonna get a similar look and I know it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be uh, cheaper than having the oil tank resprayed. Rear fender is in good shape. Let's see if we can get a little bit better lighting to show you that there's no major blemishes. Uh, you'll see the reflection of me. <laughs> That's how shiny the paint is. Polish built on this rear wheel on the sides in good shape no major blemishes to point out but again the bike is not brand new as uh, so you can't expect it to be perfect um, you're gonna have a little bit of uh, scraping on that underneath of the frame as uh, as mentioned before and, in, and shown before so I think that pretty much sums up the full walk around uh, condition report uh, aesthetically really is a gorgeous bike but let's go ahead and fire her up for you
right, so there you have it. Definitely shows the motorcycle runs extremely well, rides even better. Uh, definitely a very, very nice motorcycle. Uh, everything fun functions as it should, and uh, definitely should give you a lot of, uh, a lot of years of enjoyment. Uh, if you guys do have any additional questions, definitely don't hesitate to uh, contact me. Uh, my name is Chase Holwork. I am owner and operator uh, of Auto Realm. Um, we specialize in the remarketing of a lot of semi-custom motorcycles, and then we do uh, sell some exotic vehicles as well. Uh, you can reach me on my direct cell phone at 801-564-0629. Again, that's 801-564-0629. Uh, you can also hop on over to our direct website. The website address is www.auto-realm.com. Um, we've got another uh, link to that website, which is www.utahchopper.com. Um, I'd highly suggest that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we do sell uh, quite a few uh, semi-custom motorcycles throughout the year, and um, any new and upcoming inventory will come up uh, with new uh, a new video. And so, if you subscribe to our channel and uh, you know turn on notifications, it should definitely uh, notify you when there's any new inventory. Um, in the listing description, I'll give, I'll give more information as far as an asking price and uh, all that good stuff. Um, again, I'm very, very thankful for uh, your interest in the motorcycle and I uh, look forward to uh, possibly working with you. Thank you so much.